Welcome to Simple Cooking Made Simple with Carolina Chef. So it's the day after St. Patty's Day. You have corned beef left over. Unless you use my corned beef recipe, you probably won't have any left over. Or if you do, you're probably just going to want to eat it as a leftover. But if you don't, you can make a Reuben. Well, it's a wonderful sandwich you're going to use. Uh, Jewish raw bread, mustard, Thousand Island dressing, Swiss cheese, uh, your leftover corned beef, slice it thin, and sauerkraut. So stay with us, watch this full video. It won't take long, and you will be able to have a nice, lovely Reuben sandwich with your leftover corned beef. Also, if you do not like Reuben's because of the sauerkraut, just leave it off. Or you could make a corned beef special. It's a cold Reuben without the sauerkraut and you add coleslaw. Or if you don't like corned beef or you don't have any corned beef left over, you can make a Reuben, which is called a Rachel, and you would just use deli turkey instead. Let's play. Thinly slice this and get it ready for our Reuben sandwich. It's a great way to utilize your leftover corned beef from St. Patty's Day. And if you guys followed my recipe, you may not want a Reuben and you just may want to eat leftovers. So we got, we got several slices. I like a lot on mine, so I wanna make sure I slice up enough. So I'm gonna set this over here. And then we're going to butter our bread. And I'm using a rye. And then we're gonna set this right here. And then we're gonna add Thousand Island to one side. I'm using a Ken Steakhouse Thousand Island. And if you guys notice that you don't have Thousand Island, you can always take some ketchup, mayonnaise, and uh, pickle relish, some sweet pickle relish, mix it together. You're going to want to do two parts mayonnaise to one part ketchup and then about a teaspoon or so of relish. So we'll get this set on there. So now I'm gonna put the baby Swiss on. We're gonna half one slice, cause your rye bread is oblong. And you want cheese on both sides. And the more cheese, the better. That's how I feel about it. And then we'll throw our corned beef on here. And then earlier today, I made sauerkraut instead of, instead of buying canned. And it's a very easy recipe. If you guys want me to do a video on how to make homemade sauerkraut that tastes much better than your canned sauerkraut let me know in the comments or email and I will be glad to do that so now we're just going to take this put this on top so we've preheated our pan to a medium heat and then we're just going to toast both of these I'm going to turn this down to a four just so that it gets the cheese melted, heats up the corned beef and the uh, sauerkraut. So we took our corned beef, or. <laughs> so we took our Reuben out of the pan. We're going to slice it. Smells really good. You can smell all the flavors from the sauerkraut and the corned beef. Look at that. <laughs> that thick, nice, oh, both sides are to golden toasted. Man, you talk about a good sandwich. That's beautiful. Have some 
chips or some french fries and some a pickle with that be loving life and your tummies will love you hey we want to thank you for uh, watching this short little video on how to use your corned beef leftovers from st patty's day make sure you do the three s's smash that like button subscribe and share with your family and friends thanks again and god bless Thank you.